Uh, all right, hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we got up at ridiculous hours of uh, like 4 a.m., left the house at 4.30, drove a couple hours out to Michigan City, Indiana, where it's about like 10 degrees Fahrenheit, wind chill, right? Because we're right off of, we're right on Lake Michigan. Shooting this uh, Michigan City lighthouse. I'm out with uh, my uh, hometown photographer buddy, Robert Waters, who's gonna be starting the channel here in the not too distant future. You guys will have to check that out. And, uh, and you can also see him on Facebook now, Robert Waters Photography. So today, just getting out, shooting a sunrise of the lighthouse and then uh, who knows where this will take us I got the d850 I got my 2470 Sigma lens I got my 7200 also Sigma lens and uh, my macro because I don't leave home without that anymore since uh, Simon Booth got me started doing that so welcome back to the channel and uh, here we go so I have uh, I've done one shot already and basically what I was doing is I was using this big iron, this iron walkway, right? This is where the workers would walk out and do whatever they do, go out to the lighthouse. So there's lights up underneath it and uh, I was using those lights. I was shooting high at, at like F18, F16. So I would get the star pattern off of these lights, using those lights as a uh, leading line that would, you know, take you straight into the image and then bend and take you right to the lighthouse. So, haven't looked at them. Um, I bracketed, again, moving fast because it's so flipping cold out here. You can see I got the double hats on, so it's not very stylish, but, uh, it's warm so uh yeah so that was the first shot i'll uh, i'll put that up on the screen here in just a second so you can see that got to walk a little bit further further down the pier and to see what uh, see what I can find may switch over to the 70 to 200 but uh, yeah it's fun to get out fun to get out even though it's you know super frigid conditions and just remember when you get out in these conditions bring lots of batteries obviously bring enough stuff to keep yourself warm and and in this case I uh, brought my ice cleats too which is critically important when you're at places like starved rock on an icy day because you can slide down the the whole uh canyon if you're not you know careful so ice cleats dress warm lots of batteries because you obviously your batteries will die quickly in this frigid weather so all right so i'm gonna walk on down the pier and uh, get some more shots So I wanted to get the lighthouse with the sun getting up a little bit higher and lighten up the, uh, the ice on the side of the wall there because there's so much character and texture and shadows and light on that ice. So Robert's back there, he doesn't have ice cleats and it's super dangerous out here. If I fall into this water, it's over. So uh, I'm going to walk out here a little bit further, get a couple of shots that I I'm seeing in my head and uh, probably won't get much video because I'm going to be working as fast as I can so I'm not out there too long. The wind's starting to blow a little harder now that the sun came up and uh, the wind chill is dropping, that's for sure. So I'm still bracketing. I got the 70 to 200 on now, uh, trying to get as much B-roll as I can. So yeah, what a day, what a morning. Uh, 
All right, so the sun is starting to come up over in the east, which is over that way. And you can see the sky behind the lighthouse is just starting to get that pinkish, purplish, violetish uh, hue to it, just starting to tint up a little. And the cool thing is, right, this is Lake Michigan, which is obviously fresh water, so it's going to freeze. Um, and out there, there's a big patch of ice right in front of the lighthouse. So that patch of ice is going to catch that, uh, that violet, purplish, pinkish light, and it's really going to show it off in the image. So that's what I'm going for right now in this shot. Again, staying around uh, F-16, F-14, probably shoot a couple at F-11 as well. And then uh, we'll go from there. something uh, to warm my bones up a little bit but uh, primarily just using the lighthouse using the pier leading line trying to capture some of the birds and uh, yeah hey so so now I'm kind of done being out here on the pier the wind is blowing so hard let me go Robert's over there out on the beach so I might put the macro lens on and uh, go out on the beach and see if I can find some good abstract uh, macro shots. So, all right, if I haven't showed all of my lighthouse images by now, I'll put those up. You can check all those out. And then uh, I'll talk to you about any macro shots. Uh, if I did get some macro shots, I'll talk about those next. So, uh, all right, so I'm gonna get off this pier. All right. <laughs> oh, that's what that's that's what happens when your tongue is frozen. Uh, let's try it again. <laughs> All right, everybody. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by the channel. I so much appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the photos. If you did, drop me a like, drop me a comment. That means so much to me. Let me know how you're doing. I'm doing great. I'm over the COVID, 99% uh, back to strength and uh, feeling better, feeling stronger. And uh, I just so much appreciate you guys. Uh, so yeah, so drop me a comment. Let me know what's up. Let me know how you're doing. And if you haven't already, hit the old subscribe button. Come along for the ride. And uh, with that, we'll see you next week, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye.